Hello everyone, I'm Yash Patel and welcome to my channel Django World. So in last video we have created these uh, two models. First is blog and another is blog comment. Okay. So in today's video we are just going to create a super user. Okay, and we will try to add some data from our uh, admin panel and then we will display that uh, data as a JSON. Okay as a JSON response in our browser. So to do that, first open the terminal and here I will say python manage.py, sorry, manage.py, create super user. And here I will say admin. I will leave this email blank and I will say my password. And I will just start the server. Now I will uh, press Alt and click on this link. Okay. So let me just do it 100. Now here I will say slash admin and I will just log in. Okay. Now, okay, we are not able to see the models in our admin panel. So I will just go to, sorry, just go to admin.py in blog underscore app okay now i will bring that models here so i'll say from dot models import blog and blog comment now here i'll say admin dot site dot register blog and the same way i will register blog comment save come browser refresh okay so in blog here i will just add one blog for testing purpose you guys can add three to four it doesn't matter okay so i'll say markdown i will select admin the user and i'll say very good language and i'll just hit on save it should create slug automatically okay i will minimize this window now i'll go to views.py now here if you remember we have just created one dummy data which says message hello world okay so let me open that uh, link again so i'll say slash api slash blog underscore list okay so this is the page now here we should see the data from the database so let's do so here i will first bring model so from dot models import blog okay now i will remove this data variable and here i'm going to say blogs equals to blog dot comment sorry not blog not blog dot comment blog dot objects dot all okay now here i will say data equals to i will create dictionary and i will say blogs and uh, here i am going to create one more dictionary i think i am not going to create one more dictionary okay so here i am just going to say list and here i will say blogs dot values oops this should do our job okay so i'll just save come to browser and refresh so now you can see we got all the data from the backend okay so this is how you can create you know json response but this is not rest api let me clarify you this thing too okay this is not rest api now if you want to fetch individual items then it can be done by primary key primary key means this id okay every object has its own unique id so our object has one okay so here i will just create uh, one more function which will be def blog underscore detail now here it will take request then it will take pk as a parameter 
now here i am just going to say this query okay i will just copy this query instead of all i will say get now here pick k should be equal to pick k right and uh, again i will say data equals to sorry equals to i will give name which will be blogs sorry blogs dot name then i will say description which i will copy from here description which will be blogs dot description and last i will just say slug okay and i need to do comma over here and comma over here and after all this thing i'll just return this json response so that over here now we have created new view okay so i need to add that view to urls so let's go over here i'll just replicate this link and instead of this blog underscore list i'll say detail okay and here i will add one more thing which will be int then a variable pick k which we have wrote over here okay write this variable name over here if you have written hello then you should write hello over here otherwise it is going to throw you an error okay then slash at the end then here i will say blog underscore detail and i'll copy this and paste that over here also okay now instead of this blog underscore list if i say blog details slash one slash okay i am writing this one over here because our id is one if i enter if i press enter over here i should get this same data okay okay so i'm facing error let me see let me see i'm messing up this url about the e t a i l okay so i have misspelled this detail spelling so i'll just correct it okay now i will come over here and you can see we got this response okay so i hope you got idea about this uh, json response by individual math individual element and all elements okay so this proves that uh, when i explain you about rest api okay at that time i told you that if you want to fetch individual element we need this id okay then only we will able to fetch individual element and this work actually okay and if we do this list then you can see we have all element just to clarify let me add one more so it will be more clear to you okay so i'll say facebook i'll add this user admin and i'll say nice i'm adding uh, random data okay and i'll just say i have saved and if i come over here and refresh then you can see i got one another data so this performs only get method and this also performs get method you know this also performs get method but with individual elements if i write two over here then i should okay d e t a i l detail then i should get this facebook data okay so i hope you got idea about this uh, json response with all data and the individual data so yeah this is it for today's video guys if you like my video please like share and subscribe to my channel and i will see you in next one thank you